is Micah Green. I'm an advisor to the board at Data Art, and I'm based in Northern Virginia. The reality is that change is accelerating in every part of life driven by technology, and that has a profound effect on media and entertainment companies and the media and entertainment space. One way that, that to think about the changes that are taking place could be analogized to the weather. So if you think about weather from the standpoint of, is it gonna to rain tomorrow? That may inform whether you bring an umbrella, whether you bring a raincoat. On the other hand, there's a dimension of weather that unfolds in a completely different time scale, almost you know, geologic time. The, the erosion that forms the Grand Canyon, the tectonic plate shift that forms continents. And those things change the landscape or the environment in a fundamentally different way from whether it's wet or whether it's dry tomorrow. But when you analogize that to the media landscape and come back to, to acceleration of change, those time horizons are radically compressed so that the same sort of changes that actually manifest at a level of they change the shape of the entire environment are not unfolding in eons or not unfolding in millennia but they're unfolding in decades or less. So YouTube was founded in 1998, Facebook was founded in 2004, and those two companies which didn't exist 25 years ago now really dominate the areas of the media space in which they play. And there's no reason to expect that the future is gonna be different from the past in that respect, uh, meaning that it is quite likely that the companies that come to dominate particular areas of the space that today we think of incumbent players who, you know, how would they ever be dislodged or disrupted could be entirely different and may not even exist. Among the trends that are shaping media and entertainment is globalization. And globalization on the one hand represents a fact that for companies worldwide, the opportunities now exist to reach audiences worldwide. And that is powerfully transformative in terms of the market and market size that's available to them. It raises new questions and challenges, some of which are regulatory, some of which relate to the fact that while people universally have certain common standards of what is good or great or engaging content. There are also points that need to be taken into account with respect to uh, cultural considerations because things that might work in one environment really well might not work in another market well at all. Other areas, they include the following. Uh, one is consumer expectations. And consumer expectations are in part shaped by high quality content that is available and people they want to have choice they want convenience they want value the consumers have available to them at any given moment in time and through a broad variety of different types of devices and a practically infinite number of choices about the content with which they could choose to engage and on the one hand, that's enormously exciting if you're a content creator because you can reach a global audience on multiple different platforms uh, in ways that on a cost side are much more achievable than they ever were. And on the other hand, if you're a content creator, that's enormously scary because what you are producing and providing now is a drop in a sea and you're competing against an almost infinite set of competitors or quasi-competitors, all of whom are fundamentally competing for the time and attention of the consumer. And while the amount of content is, is growing exponentially, obviously the amount of time in a day for any one person or the amount of time when they're not sleeping isn't changing at all. And how they choose to spend the hours they have available for entertainment is increasingly atomized and fractionated and creates opportunities and creates challenges. The changes that are taking place across the media and entertainment space require a certain nimbleness on the part of media and entertainment companies. And 
business models have to be thoughtfully re-examined so that the models that are provided for consumers are ones that in part meet them where they are, in part are mindful of what consumers are going to want, not in the next calendar quarter or in two calendar quarters, but in a year and two years and three years or longer. And those things in turn are informed by all of the other converging forces of change, the acceleration of the change in technology, the globalization, the markets that are available, the atomization that's taking place with respect to uh, where consumers spend their time, how they spend their time, and the choices that they have. And all of those things create a need for media and entertainment companies to remain thoughtful and nimble about the business models that they employ to create successful long-term relationships with the consumers that they want as their audiences.